Hi there, my name is Loki, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw anime heads. You may have seen this method of drawing the anime head from tons and tons of videos on YouTube, and I'm going to show you guys a way of how I use this method in this video. Even if you are a struggling artist that is having trouble on trying to draw the head, this video will definitely help you. I can't guarantee that, but I hope it does in some way, shape, or form. This method of drawing can apply anywhere, so strap in and let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using a software known as Krita, but you can use any medium you want, whether it is paper or you can use any other software like Photoshop, Clip Studio, or Ibis Paint. It is totally up to you. The first step that you need to do is to create a circle. I do suggest that you don't do this with a stencil or any sort of ruler whatsoever. Do try and put effort into creating a sort of perfect circle. It might not look perfect, but don't worry. This is just a rough drawing and you don't have to worry about that too much. And yes, I'm fully aware you can do a perfect circle, but do try your best to make it look somewhat good. Next up, draw the vertical line and the jaw. You might think that this is out of the ordinary, but it makes me a little bit more uncomfortable to do the jaw, uh, to do the jaw before I put the vertical line in. Because after that, I would put the ears before even placing the eyes. And don't forget to draw the neck. For this specific tutorial, we won't be extending the lower part of the body. We'll just be drawing this from neck to top of the head. Once your layout is done, lower the opacity on on your drawings or just lightly rub it rub it out if you're drawing on paper this part is where we're going to start adding a bit of the where we're going to start doing the rough line work your line work can be in any color you want whether it's red blue whatever is comfortable for you for this i start with the line work so that when i'm done doing the hair i don't have to come back and draw the eyes and then just draw parts of the eyes that are hidden it would be better if i draw the entire eye itself rather than drawing the hair or anything else and of course since it's the rough work you can still change the rough work as i'm doing it right here i'm just erasing it and correcting the eye because it did not look right in accordance to the to the other eye so do make sure that you keep the proportions right as well. Now I draw the rest of the facial features. One thing I will have to remind you is that you don't have to follow this tutorial one to one. This is just to show you how you can use this method of drawing any heads in any style you want. Whether it is cartoons from the west or Japanese animations, you can still apply this in any way you want. And do make sure that you can adapt this tutorial to your own style. Always remember, you're the one who's drawing it, so you have control of what appears on the paper. Now once you're done with your facial features and also the detail of the ears, you can stop from here. But if you want to add the hair, this is where I can help you in terms of the hair. Now for the hairstyle of your character, it can be anything, but here I'm going to show you how I draw the hair. And to start it, I draw a guideline for the hair, pretty much expanding the top of the head in a red or a different color. And I also draw the hairline of the set character, so that I have a guideline of where the hair starts. From here, I will speed the video up and I'll see you guys in the next step.
To finish off, I will draw the highlights and the shadow for the character. This step you really don't need to do it, but it is a bonus if you want to do it. And here it concludes the tutorial on how to draw anime heads. If you guys would like to see more tutorials, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also press the like button if you guys like to see more tutorials in the future. And let me know down in the comments if this tutorial helped you and you personally want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.